Well, folks, this is a uh, dollar and ten cent uh, no limit hold'em tournament on America's card room. Uh, I this tournament has been going for four hours and forty nine minutes. I entered at the last minute, and uh, I never did get into the money. Um, I was pretty close, and I got a pair of kings, and uh, I was in it all in against two other people, and uh, one had an ace queen of diamonds and uh and hit the flush so uh, i'm down to uh, two big blinds here and i thought i would just uh record the rest of this tournament um i just had a 10-2 offsuit so obviously i folded with that now i have a 6-8 offsuit uh i'm obviously gonna fold that um and uh, this particular player raised um, I've got 11,000 chips. I mean, it's possible for me to make a comeback, and I guess that's why I started this. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time that uh, that I've come back from last place. Um, I've been gone last place to first place, but uh, in this particular case, I need to make it up to 63rd place, which is uh, about 119,000 points. So I need to double double triple uh, up to a hundred and some thousand in order to, to make the, uh, the the bubble um, and I'm obviously just looking for one more hand um, and hopefully it'll be a winner um, I have two more chances before I get the big blind now I have a two five offsuit obviously I'm going to fold that But uh, this dollar and ten cent tournament, uh, first place pays one hundred one dollars, um, pays down to sixty third place, which is two dollars and thirty five cents. And uh, there were uh, five hundred and thirty five entries total. Um, so uh, it, it's the, the top ten to fifteen percent make the money, and uh, everybody else just uh, donates. And, uh, you know, like I say, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to donate, but uh, now I have a 10-8. Um, I'm going to fold because uh, I've only got one call left. And uh, so I'll take my chances that the next hand will be better than a 10-8. Actually, I can... I can put in the uh, the, the ante and uh, and play the following hand, so I, I've got two shots left. But uh, being that I'm the big blind here with a five ten suit, um, uh, hopefully nobody will will raise, and I'll get to see a uh, flop. <coughs> if somebody does raise, I'll fold and, and go for the next one. Well, let's see. We've got I've got two callers um, now. That's a, this is a good question. Um, a raise and a call. Uh, I've got a ten five suit. I, I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold. I, well, I, I I would have a four flush, but uh, seeing as how I'm in the small blind next time. Um, I'm, I'm just betting that I'll get better cards. With my 10 five of hearts, I would have a flush draw as well as a backdoor uh, straight draw. And we're not going to see any more cards. So this is my last, uh, probably last hand. Yeah, I've only got 452 chips. <coughs> so uh, I'll call any with this. And uh, with a 9-7, I obviously need some help. Uh, I need a 9 or a 7. Yeah, I need a 9 or a 7. What do you know? I got a 7. 
So I take down a pot um, and I have 12,000 chips. So I'm back in the game. I'm still in 106th place, but uh, there's hope. And uh, now I'm on the uh, the button with the three, four offsuit. I'm, obviously I'm gonna fold. But, but this is uh, <laughs> this is the, the, the name of the game. It's a chip and a chair. You know, I've got a long way to go to get uh, to get into, into the money, but I have an ace four, so I'm going to go all in. Any ace, any king. Now my ace is good. Uh, my ace is good, and, and as long as the ten doesn't flop, I'm going to pick. I'm going to double up here. So I'm up to 32,000 chips. And uh, now I have an ace five suited again. I guess uh, I'll just call this one. And uh, hope, hope for some diamonds or an ace. Like I say, the... Uh, 63rd place uh i needed i needed to get up to uh 120 some thousand well that's not a good flop for me i i could make a bluff i could also just check i'll just check now I've got a straight draw. There's a flush draw on the board. Um, these, but they both called, so I'm gonna fold here. I seriously doubt my ace was good. Tens. Okay, I'm surprised that uh, she didn't raise. Now I've got a two-three offsuit. That's a fold. There's no sense in me looking at the clock now because, uh, well, actually, no, I'm in I'm in a 104th place. Somebody, I moved up from uh, 106 to 104th, and somebody has fewer chips than I. But one, the, the thing that I learned about uh, America's card room is that uh, these tournaments run forever and they have late registration for uh, a, a, an extraordinary length of time. And uh, I, I just uh, don't have the, uh, the desire to sit in meaningless uh meaningless rounds of, uh, uh, of, of play. Um, you know, even if you have aces, uh, somebody's going to beat you um, sooner or later. Now, I've got an ace-king here, offsuit, but that's all in for me. Hopefully, I can double up again. I'm sure somebody's going to call. These people all have huge stacks. Well, the big blind, I can't believe he wouldn't call. But he folded. Okay. So I take down 21,000 and uh, I'm up to 100th place. And uh, <coughs> like I say, I need to get, I need to get up to, uh, well, I need 100,000 chips. And so, I mean, you know, I need to double up a couple times. But uh, this is, this is called the, the, the bottom stack just trying to survive. And uh, by the way, uh, 
you can uh, you can join America's card room and and uh, you get a 50 percent or 100 percent bonus. You have to read the fine print on the bonus. But uh, if you uh, if you download their uh, their uh, their software and uh, create an account, um, then uh, you can play here. They've got a bunch of free rolls as well as uh, you know micro stakes like this, and uh, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I, if you like poker, then uh, this is the place for you. America's card room. And uh, I've got a link there. Uh, I do get a, a, they, a, they have an affiliate program and I just became an affiliate. So uh, if you uh, download their uh, their software from from my link uh, and uh, make a deposit, then uh, sooner or later, I'll, I'll get a little bit of a bonus. So uh, I'm still working on how to put the link on on my, uh, my site, but uh, like I say, America's card rooms kind of opened the door to a whole different level of play from the uh, poker stars that I played at for so long. Well, a six, seven offsuit, do I want to call? Um, any, meaning no, I'm going to fold. I'm going to fold. I'm in the big blind. He raised and... Uh, I just, you know, don't want to call a raise with a six, seven. I've he's got time. Now I'm in the small blind with a nine, four offsuit. That's going to be another fold. <coughs> but with a 6,000 big blind and a 3,000 small blind, I've got, can last another couple rounds on the table. And I'm looking for a monster hand. Oh, we've got two calls now. There's the, the tournament is down to 96 players. So, uh, well, now if I had called, I'd have an open end straight. But uh, I can't rely on, you know, a flop like that with only, you know, pop, probably one hand left to play. Yeah, anyway, uh, I, I I made a first deposit of 50 bucks to play here. And uh, I, I can't tell you how many of these tournaments that I've played in. Um, and, uh, you know, like I say, what I learned was that uh, with all the levels that they have with the rebuy uh, for my game, uh, I'm better off... Uh, you know, entering at the last minute, the last level of uh, uh, that, that that's allowed, that rebuy or that uh, late entries are are uh, are allowed. And I've I've decided not to go play in the uh, World Series of Poker. Um, it's a long way up to Las Vegas, and uh, the big reason that I I, I I decided not to go was because the uh, the rooms are so expensive and uh, and they you may have heard about resort fees. Well, when these hotels advertise a price of two hundred and fifty dollars a night, there's another two hundred and fifty dollars resort fee for that night. <coughs> so that's that, that really irritated me. Um, you know, I played in the World Series of Poker in 2004, and uh, I don't, it was the last year it was at Binion's downtown, and uh, of course I won my entry, and uh, and I was given $2,000 for expenses, but, uh, you know, and, and there were, I guess, 2,800 players or something. I finished 428th, I believe, and it was, I didn't make the money, but... Uh, Anyway, Vegas has really changed, and the World Series of Poker has really taken off since 2004. And uh, um, I was going to play in the, a couple senior events that cost a thousand dollars to get in, but those are four-day events. Um, so, uh, and actually, the first one, the, the senior event, 
like is, is a four-day event, but there's two starting days. So if you go in on the first day, it, it ends up to be a five-day event. And uh, so anyway, that's why I decided not to go. Now, uh, I've got a pair of kings. Um, do, do I want to slow play these to get some build up that pot? Well, no, I don't. I'm just going to go all in. And uh, I seriously doubt anybody's going to go in against this guy unless they've got a pair of aces. He's the top stack at the table. When he goes all in, uh, you know, I, I, it'll be interesting to see what he has. Let's see what he has. He's from Russia. He's a pair of sevens. Yeah, okay. Well, eight, and uh, it looks like I'm going to double up. Yeah, I'm going to double up. I'm going to make a note. Uh, this guy goes all in with a pair of sevens. Okay, now I have a jack nine. I'm going to fold that. Anyway, I'm up to seven big blinds and 55,000. I'm up to 89th. I'm still, I'm still, well, these statistics that they show on the, on the board here are not up to date. That's something that bothers me. Um, uh, it, it shows that, I, that I'm 89th out of 89 players. But uh, it's, it's, there's a lag in there. Um, I, I could be 89th of 89, but I, I actually, no, now it just changed. I'm 82nd of 88. 10-9 uh, suited uh, in first position. I'm going to fold. I need to get a, uh, uh, get a heater going here. Um, but, uh, you know, by golly, I'm an 82nd and, uh, 63rd, you know, I just need to basically win another hand. Um, <laughs> and if I can double or triple up, I can get in the money. Uh, it's only two dollars and thirty-five cents, but you know, for these stakes, uh, you know, I, I like to at least get my money back when I when I enter a tournament, and uh, I would double my money, my dollar and ten cent investment, if I if I can make the bubble here. Okay, now I'm in the big blind with a 4-6 offsuit. At this point, I'm, I'm hoping that nobody raises so I get a free flop. Um, I wouldn't count on it, but you never know. Obviously, I wouldn't call a raise here. There's six minutes left in this blind level. Well, there's a raise, uh, 14, a, a three bet. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna be out. And, uh, well, now we've got a four bet, all in four bet. That's an interesting bet. This is the guy that went all in against me with a pair of sevens when I had kings. But, uh, you know, being that he's the big stack, uh, people don't want to go out at this point. Now, I've got an ace-jack suited. Um, I, I'm going to play this. And uh, I'm probably going to go all in. And if somebody else is in, goes all in, I'll be all in with them. Okay, he raised. I'm going all in. Eight man calls with a queen nine. Oh boy, I've got a pair of jacks. He's got an open end straight. Give me a deuce. 
he, he got his straight. Unbelievable. He got his straight. He, he raised with a queen nine. I had him. I had him. But uh, anyway, that's the uh, that's it. I finished in uh, 82nd or something, and uh, I uh, I didn't I didn't recoup my dollar and ten cents. In any case, uh, like I say, this is uh, this is only the second video I've I've made of uh, America's card room, and I'm going to be be making a whole bunch more as I learn more and get more comfortable with the uh, platform. But meanwhile, uh, like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you can find that affiliate link down there, um, go ahead and join America's Card Room. And uh, I'm sure you'll, if you like poker, you're going to like it. Anyway, over and out. This is Laughlin007. Have a great day.